All right, we got to do this before it's too late. Sunday night. Been playing this. Been playing this all day. It's 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 boring. I don't like it. This. I wish I could. I wish I could do that. I'm so. I'm so glad I. Accidentally bought it. Accidentally. Well, I. I, I wasn't gonna buy it because throughout the years, Need for Speed. It was. It was okay. You know, it wasn't that like. Yeah, I can't wait to play it. Like back in the days. If you're this old like me, this would be your first Need for Speed. Man, I played the heck out of that. But nothing to compare with this. But you can't go back and play that again. That was the first one from back in the days. And I loved it. But this, last year, last year, November 5th, my game of the year was Forza Horizon 5. It's my top favorite racer of all time. And I loved it passionately. Um, you gotta keep in mind, I don't do a lot of racing game on this channel. I don't, I don't play through a lot of racing games. But I should give them more of a chance. But if I play through a racing game, because you know they all feel the same and they all play the same, and we're not that into it. And I'm like, oh man, nah, it's always the same gas break, and that's it. This one, this one, I'm going to finish it. It said it's 15, 16 hours to finish the campaign. I love the story passionately. Even without the story, I would still love the game. I didn't play online. I played on my own all day today. I think I'm seven or eight hours in. I would say around part three, the story gets very, very, very delicious. Very nice. I like the voice acting. I like the whole... The new... People are complaining about the burnouts of the tire. You can select the color you want. It's... it's it, There's a... It's a realistic world, but the characters are anime. Which I think is... It's a nice option. Keep that. And the whole burnout stuff and all the, the fumes and... I love the art style of the game so much. I passionately love the soundtrack. Sadly, I can't play with it on my channel. Do something, EA. I want to get some copyrights free music on my games. Maybe at least a soundtrack where I could play copyright free music. But we got to go back. Because <coughs> racing games are racing games. It's, it feels like Criterion, first and foremost, are basically making almost all the new Need for Speed games, which are burnout games for back in the days. Burnout was the shit. I mean, the best racing games. So much arcade, so much demolition. It was so awesome. I think the last one was Burnout Paradise. I'm looking through my collection. That the, the burnouts on PSP were that. Mm, that was so good. But let's go back to Need for Speed Unbound. Uh... It has a little bit of burnout. It has a little bit of GTA. It feels like you're playing Grand Theft Auto. It's kind of weird. You got some missions. You got to go get some cars. I don't know if you're... It's never really clear if you're stealing the cars or not. It's so much fun. It's challenging. You have a limited... I really like those. But that's not why I make it my racing game of the year. I nominate this best racing game this year. I nominate this best Need for Speed game of life. Okay, let's keep on going. Um, 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 um Oh, yes, those racing. Uh, bringing back those cars, stolen or not. I really like those. I just did a McLaren one, and now it wasn't the time to bring it back. It was scratch-free. You have to race back to bring it back to a garage, and no scratches on it. The less scratch you had on it, the better reward. If you brought it... Pristine in the garage. It was 5000 bucks, But the cops are running after you. It's quasi impossible. I got $3,750 off of it. It didn't get that much scratch. I could retry it. I could redo it. But anyways, I'll go back. There's so many unique missions. So many unique racetracks. There's one I just did about maybe 2-3 hours ago. I finished in a pipe tunnel. And I thought it was most beautiful thing ever 
uh, a lot of distance racing it made me feel like I don't want to go too far like criterion we were talking about this wait I'm gonna put it back that's not what I wanted um the open open world aspect of it um some of the maps made me think of another one of my favorite Need for Speed. Oh man, failed video. Concentrate. Where is it? There we go. Is that is it? Is it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Made me made me think a lot of tracks from this one. But I never played this one. Never actually played this one. Never gave it a chance. Never played. Can't remember the year it was published. Anyways, going back. Yeah, a lot of tracks made me think about Rivals. A lot of the the, 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 the the theme made me think of Most Wanted or Underground. Like it has it has underground and, and, and carbon. It has a big vibe of, 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 of carbon too. And I, I don't know, it's mixed up together and it's so delicious. It's so delicious. It's so good. Like, they mix it all up. So it kind of feels like a burnout. Not too much, because if you crash, you crash. But your car comes back, but you're going to lose your position. Um, yeah, burnout. A little bit of Grand Theft Auto, because the stealing part. And the other part that's really cool is getting those other racers that are in trouble. You go pick them up and you bring them back without being detected by the police. Believe me, when you get four stars of heat under you I, I didn't do five yet like when the police is running after you because after you do a couple of races after you win a couple of challenges the heat goes up on you but you have to go back to your garage because the money you won it's in the red section on the top right of your screen and if you get caught you lose all that money you get you get caught you lose all that money and it's very painful it didn't happen to me once and I did try to Forza Horizon my way out, but you can't, you can almost, that's the other part. It kind of feels like Forza Horizon, the map you can do pretty much, you can go wherever you got those mega jumps you can do, you get rewarded for that. You got a bunch of bonuses stuff to collect all around the map. You got those speed traps, but the speed traps are actually fun. They're like tiny racetracks. You, you go through the first one and you got to go faster and faster and faster. That's another original part from this one that Forza didn't do because Forza you only go through it once and you get the speed trap whatever speed you're going but it's it's quite it's quite challenging those speed traps yeah a bunch of stuff to collect a bunch of signs to break kind of sounds like Forza but the gameplay the cars the car selection too brings back so much memories like I saw a Honda Civic a 90 uh, 1990 Honda Civic hatchback and i'm like wow this is so cool and i'm actually right now uh running a firebird pontiac firebird 1977 and i i'm uh i'm rebuilding that because once you start the game you got i love the story you start the game you got all that money all that cash big car you're doing big races the very rewarding and about maybe an hour or two your best friend or your co-worker, whatever, basically robs you and steal the whole garage where you're working. But you don't know why. I, I still don't know why. And I'm six, seven hours in. And I'm like, wow, this is quite a story. Then you go, you go on the story two years later, you're back at the garage. It's not really business. You're doing basic oil change. And then you have a call and somebody wants to invest in you. To win back the power of your garage and go race against your friend that stole your car that you built up. Like I had a Nissan. It was the best. I spent like 50000 on it. Rebuilt it. And she stole it. Just that story, man. It's so good. And the actors and the voice. I gotta check who are the voice actor. I think Rydell's Garage sounds very familiar of a, an actor that I love. It's gotta be his voice. Yeah. So, uh, don't miss out. If you love Need for Speed and you love Forza Horizon, the series, and you love the last Forza a lot, Horizon 5, 
they're my favorite racing games. And like I said, I'll repeat it again. If I'm playing through a racing game, it's got to be really good. Because I don't usually, I don't own a lot of racing games. It's basically a lot of Need for Speed. And that's it. Forza. And I can't think of anything out of the driver. Driver wasn't really, wasn't really a Need for Speed. It was more of a Grand Theft Auto game type of thing. But you got a bunch of challenges. You got those kind of jamboree thing I really like and I'm really good at. Uh, you're, 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 you're racing in a really tiny dirt track and you got to hit some bumps and signs. The more you hit in a consecutive order and you pass those gates, you multiply your score by five. You don't hit the wall, don't hit those red barrels and you get, I love those. And uh, yeah, you, you got a little bit of everything. You got some kind of NASCAR tracks. You got you got some rally. You got some off road, but not too much. Just just okay. It's it's a street racing game, mostly. Realistic. Yeah, sure. No, I jumped off a uh, top of a train in part seven. I was doing a race. I'm like, man, I'm gonna crash. And just a tiny bit while I was driving, it was so awesome. I was jumping off a cliff. And I landed on top of the train. I raised it on top of the train just a tiny bit. And I jumped on the road. Wow, that, that was priceless. 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 And the more you drift while you're racing, uh, you get your booster back. Right? Makes sense. So I'm sold. I'm going to finish this game before Friday. Because we got something else big Friday coming out. Cuphead 2, I think, this week. I don't know. Well, think about it. The Cuphead, uh, I want to get it, but it's been out for so long. I'm like, what's the point? Will I? That's the question I'm asking these days. Will I really want to play this? Will I take my time and play this? Need for Speed Unbound. I'm not disappointed. I want to finish it. Like I said, my favorite Need for Speed of all time. And my racing game of the year this year. Because we're almost at the end of the year. That's it. Nothing else compares to it. So that's it. Have a good weekend. Well, it's done. Back to boring work tomorrow. It's Christmas rush. I don't feel like it. I wish I could stay home and game all the time. So hit that thumbs up. So I can stay home and game all the time. Basically. See you soon.